Today on the bench we have this uh, Gibson AL355. This is the Alex Lyson signature model 355 from the custom shop. Uh, the problem with this guitar is it was left in a trunk of a car on a hot summer day and the neck warped. And then in, uh, terrible bow, forward bow like this. And uh, the uh, you know the owner tried to get the bow out of the neck by tightening the truss rod, and the truss rod couldn't do it. So um, the truss rod actually snapped. Uh, so that's part of the repair as well as is, is installing a new truss rod. But first thing I want to try is to get the neck straight. So I've got the guitar secured to the bench with this clamp, a little bit of a rubber call so that I don't mar it. Although I am going to refinish it anyway, but. It, um, then the neck, I've got it sitting on this neck cradle. It's a piece of solid oak. And it's a little bit, a little bit past the halfway point of the shaft. And this is where I want most of the, uh, um, the bending to occur, right around this area. Now what I've got set up for a jig to actually be able to control my bend is very simple. I'm using the guitar's tuning machines as a clamping device. Let me see if I can just zoom in here and show you what I've got going on. So I've taken two strings, secured them to this board. This board is clamped to my bench. And uh, I'm using you know, the B tuner and the A tuner. A tuner has the same thing going on on this side. String secured here. And I'm using these little uh, cardboard protectors here so that I don't mar the edge of the peg head. And what this allows me to do is when I tighten these I can control the amount of how much this is going to pull down on the neck and basically bend it into a little bit of a backbow. Just a little bit. Now, the other thing this neck has a bit of a twist and since I'm using both tuners, one on each side, I'm going to be able to control how much I can t take the twist out. So if I, let's see if the camera will show this, if I use my straight edge as a winding stick, that's what this is called when you use two straight edges across the length of a board and then you sight down them and look at the difference. This is how you tell what where there's a twist. And I don't know if the camera shows this, but there is definitely a twist this way. And so what I want to do is pull down this side, put a little more pressure on this side so that the twist, you know, it pulls a twist this way so that it's straight. So that the winding sticks are read even. So I'm going to put my straight edge on here and I can see that I've got a bit of bow and I'm going to tighten. Right, so now the bow Now the neck is perfectly straight. Um, yeah, the neck is straight. And now we're going to check for that amount of twist. And we'll adjust one tuner or the other to straighten it. I think this one a little bit more. Right there. Okay. So now the thing is straight with the winding sticks, I mean meaning no twist, and it's dead straight this way. So now I'm just going to give both tuners a half a turn maybe. Okay, so now I've got a bit of a back bow in the neck, and I just want to check one more time that we are still uh, without a twist and that looks good. 
All right, now I'm going to use this steel straight edge and I'm going to lay it right down on the next shaft. Uh, and I'm going to use a clothes iron to apply heat. Now the reason I'm laying down the, uh, the, the straight edge is that um, it will distribute the heat from more than just the, the, the footprint of the clothes iron itself. Uh, the amount of heat, I'm going to set it to a, kind of a medium low setting. Let it heat up and uh, then I'm going to measure the temperature. And I've got an electronic multimeter that also has a temperature probe. So I'm going to use this temperature probe uh, just to monitor where we're at. Because I don't want it to get too hot so that it you know, scorches or burns the thing, but it's got to get hot enough to, to have some effect on the, on the wood itself. So here we are heating up. Oh, we're already up to 40... Uh, slowing down at 50 degrees, 51 degrees. Yeah, I can feel it. It's definitely warming up. And um, I think I'm going to target around 45 to 50 degrees and leave this on for maybe a, a couple of hours. And then after that time, um, I will just take the iron off and let the, let the neck cool for a day, maybe overnight, uh, before I release it from this clamping pressure here, from the, the, uh, the string clamps that I'm using to make a back bow. And hopefully that will take care of the, uh, the neck twist and bow. All right, so here we are uh, next morning. And uh, this has been cooling overnight. And let's take a look. Oh, it looks perfect. It's perfectly straight. And as far as twist goes, yeah, that's great. So as you can see, that is one method of straightening a warp neck. See ya.